Hey, what's up, everyone? Shout out today's sponsor, EntryGate. They are creating an app that makes entry to gated communities way more efficient. And how it works is the owner of the house that you're visiting, they give you access through the app to get there. No gate codes, no nothing. What we need you to do is click the link so you can help them reach their Kickstarter goal to develop the app. And also, if you guys are into dogs and Frenchies and stuff, holla at Forget About It. Uh, kennels. They have fluffy Frenchies, Merle Frenchies, and all sorts of Frenchies. Frenchy, Frenchy, Frenchy. Tap in with them. They're good people. Later. Hefe, Hefe. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Chopping Game Podcast with Lil Kelpie. Hefe, Hefe, we in this thing. And the biggest man, Big Chess, you know what I'm saying? It's been a Give y'all a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Give y'all a little bit of game, you know, yes, chopping sir, it up. You as know, always. You can get a lot from a conversation coming from this mouth, so you know what I'm saying? These mouths, so you know what I'm saying? Better put your listening ears on. Man, yeah. It's time to put the notepads out and absorb. You know what I'm saying? We giving y'all that that free game right there. Y'all need to stay tuned, pay attention. That part. Learn that something. Part. Make that some part. money. That part. So, so bruh, So we all like been seeing and shit, like seeing, seeing whatnot. What's been going on with like the uh, like the no jumper stuff? Shit. Yeah, it's been crazy over there. I would love to get y'all's opinions because my all opinion right. is. I see it from like a, I see it from both perspectives as far as like, you know, um, you know, Adam being a business owner in '80s, yeah. looking at it from like a French perspective. But I think Adam probably wasn't aware, possibly like how tight the bond was. Because if you invite someone to your wedding, bro, like yeah, it's like a friendship more like, than just. Bro, that's yeah. like you're like my dog, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and you know, so it's just like I, I definitely see it from AD's perspective. You know what I'm saying? Because. Yeah. You know, you don't want to feel like you've been more of a homie to someone and then they're not that they're not matching that energy. You know what I mean? So but like I said, I also see it from Adam's perspective of how he wanted to uh, go in a different direction with his podcast and stuff. And, yeah. You know, and, and him interviewing the, uh, the uh, racist uh, cornball motherfucker. What's the name? Richard, Sp- whatever the fuck his yeah. name. I ain't going to say his name. I see why he would want to interview him. Yeah. But I think... A lot of um, Adam's fan base, like, they feel like, you know, like, feel like real life. They feel a certain oh, type of way about him, so it's like, yeah. why would you interview this one? But on the other hand, you might have someone like um, Joe Rogan or even Vlad might yeah. interview a person like that, and they won't get that much flag. I don't know. It's, it's, That's it's, it's, true. I mean, look at it this way, though. The way Vlad came up versus the way that uh, Adam22 came up. He came up, like, you know, podcasting, vlogging with, with you know, hip-hop. Hip hop yeah. artists, young hip hop artists. Most of the time, they were black. So for him to go and interview like a KKK type dude on his podcast, like you said, he's switching up on the fan base. Yeah. As much as I can respect the hustle when it involves like you know, dicking over your fan base, the people that you know made you who you are, then I can't fuck with it no more. I think most of the discourse was mostly how Adam handled the interview with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to interject necessarily into their situation. Yeah. But it's like, uh, I think he felt like. Like, let's say if Adam or Joe Rogan was to interview them. Yeah. Maybe not Joe Rogan, but if Vlad was to interview, there might be a little bit of pushback, I feel like, possibly. Maybe, I don't know, people would expect different out of Adam. They would expect yeah. him to have some pushback. And from what, I, what I've come to understand is there wasn't a lot of pushback on that guy's narratives and stuff like that. There wasn't, he didn't really, like, push his buttons like, you would expect somebody to at that. Like he does with a lot of the other yeah, guests, I feel like. Yeah, exactly. You know? So it, it was almost like special treatment. So I could see, like, from AD's point of view, like how that could look, especially considering the time and such. But, you know, I mean, business is business, and they're doing stuff the way that they're doing it. Yeah. I, sometimes I feel like, you know, you got to put yourself in other people's shoes and ask yourself if you would do the same thing. That is and true right there. I don't, I don't know if anybody's done that, you know. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's why, in a way, like, I'm kind of impartial. You know, that's other people's business. It's literally their business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are having opinions on it. Could be like, you know, it's a bit messy. Yeah. You know, it's other people's situations. So, you know, they might they might end up hella cool and other people speak on the situation, talk about people are wrong. They reconcile. You know what I'm saying? Now you over there looking like boo boo the food because you over there picking sides. Yeah. So, but I, I just I see it for what it is. I see what happened. I've been I've been investigating it a little bit okay. just because it's. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of fresh to the whole thing. I just yeah. I feel like my opinions on Adam. You know, I kind of have a bias in there. You know, y- you especially might. when it comes to money with that motherfucker. If he's making big plays on it, you know, pay me my money. Did That's all I got to say. Did you see the shit? My partner was telling me about it. Yeah. The shit with uh, I guess uh, what was it? I guess Lush. 
if someone had like they talked about like how much they made or something, yeah, and how uh, Lush and what you've been how they like under contract and I guess like T-Rowan wasn't. Yo, okay, so they was just kind of on like It was talking about where like episode smack type getting thing, $900. Yeah. Are you yeah. talking about that thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, Damn. How much was they saying? Well, according, man. Well, uh, Smack, and for like, for, smack for which was on Back on Fig. Or I think which, he was on uh, Back on, he's on one of the things, yeah. but he's, he's uh, somewhere in the Fig community okay, world yeah. somewhere, but yeah. he said like he got uh, only like $900 for working there. I don't know like how long he was working there. I don't be, you know, watching all that shit too much. But uh but yeah, I, I don't think that that's necessarily terrible. But I mean like as far as if you I, I don't I don't know what all he contributed yeah. necessarily. And I'm not saying he did Was didn't he on the show anything. or was yeah, he yeah, just Yeah, he was on the show. Oh, yeah, on I don't show, know what okay. how many episodes he did and stuff. What's, I don't know the other logistics again? about it, but he, he made like nine hundred dollars. But yeah, it was I feel like that's low ball though. You know, for the yeah. numbers they're doing, that's low ball as fuck. No, definitely, because I don't, I don't know exactly what it was. It is low ball. But according 100%. to what my yeah, partner man. has seen, he was like, yeah, uh, Suspect has said that, I guess, uh, t Rail had asked Suspect, hey, you guys did it this much. Yeah. And uh, I guess Suspect was like, yeah, or some shit like that. And it was, I guess, more than what maybe t Rail had expected or something. Or uh, something like that. You'd have to, uh, I, I find it awesome. Yeah. Something like but yeah, as, but as far as like you know, for me being like you know, because I was a fan, I'm a fan of bro, yeah. like and Adam, you know. Yeah. So from from that perspective, it's like no, you didn't have to bring this dude into our community to give him a clout. That's true, yo. Yeah. From a YouTuber's perspective, he's trying to get a whole new audience, but that whole audience doesn't necessarily mesh with the audience you already have. They don't. So and that's it's not I'm really saying. a good thing. You yeah. Know? It's like that audience really doesn't like. This audience I feel like, yeah, business-wise, in the short term, it might make sense, but in the long run, yeah, I don't think it's smart. That wasn't, I, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I do like to follow the money, but, you know, when it comes on switching on, on your entire platform, once you stand on and shit like that, it's kind of yeah, like, how bro, far are you going to go with that, you know, before like you let the greed that that take your type shit, you know? That definitely rub some of the core people probably the wrong way. You know, Most definitely. I mean, Most I, definitely. you know, I'm a Gemini, so I see shit from two angles. Okay, I feel <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my cousin's a Gemini. That's my best homie right there. So uh, yeah, I definitely, here, I definitely know what you're saying though, the two angles thing. But there's definitely a lot of angles on this one. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with it, but y'all are y'all are catching me up with it and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been it's been pretty interesting. I'm, I just been peeping what everybody else is thinking about it from their perspective, like right. what kind of, you know, just just. I guess see what side there, because, you know, everybody got an opinion. That's true. So I've just been peeping everybody's opinions and said some people have been a little impartial. Some people have been, you know, very, spreading their opinion a lot. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, I think it's good, good content, but what I, I would think, like, oh, this could be, like, kind of orchestrated if the views wasn't so low on a lot of this stuff. I've been, like, peeping the Reddit, and they've been, like, trashing Adam and shit like that, but yeah. the views have been, like, not too great. I mean – you know, compared to what they were doing before, yeah. like, it just isn't, you know, they're not getting the same type of stuff. And I don't know. You know, I would say I'm kind of confused because I would think all that discourse would make people just watch just to. Just to see the downfall type shit. Yeah, if, if it's a downfall, if downfall it, yeah, like that. I mean, but then, you know, if he's already pivoting to different type of content. That's true. Then pissing off that type of fan base isn't that. I mean, it's probably going to mess up your stuff at first, but then he's going to have to produce some viral moments and such. I think, you yeah. know, he's a he's a he's a business he's a shrewd businessman. <laughs> a shrewd negotiator. Yeah, might, you know. Yeah, he, he honestly like I do yeah, I do Mason, know the dude's so. a shrewd businessman. He might be able to figure that shit out. I, I, I give full uh you know full respect to uh anybody trying to get their money. So oh, yeah, definitely definitely do, um, what is like um I mean it's hard to What you trying to say man <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really ultimately really hard to really have an opinion on it because it's really like, you know, the hardest part of business is minding your own, you know. Exactly. Hey, one hundred percent. You yeah. know, but it's just like I don't know, it's just weird to see something that was that's so prominent in the culture, especially since like A D went on there and Trail went on there and yeah. the smack and do know and eat lush, which a lot of people don't even know, bro. Lush was at in the battle raps, and that's how I know. Yeah, he was. No, bro, he was. Yeah. He was some of the ancient was. battles, you see Lush in the cut just chilling with his hat on and his glasses on and shit. Like, and I yeah. always like thought to myself, who the hell is this dude? Yeah. And fast forward, he's on the jumper and shit. But 
Yeah, he he's cool as fuck in terms of like his career and shit. I felt like what he did in person, you know. He was a little he was cool at first to me, but then he kinda switched up when he was on the camera. Oh, like yeah. a lot of motherfuckers do, but nah, as as a real person, a real life individual, he was cool. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Fuck with him. But where I was going with that was like, you know, it's a trip to see like, you know, because bro when A D came, yeah. it seemed like it brought like a like a like a new vibe like to the new whole thing. Vibe, huh? like yeah. a family type I of fucked vibe. with it. Like a community. Bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. Shit, nah, it was dope. Like, it, was it was dope. It was a dope thing, and to yeah. see that kind of split up is kind of like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm, as a fan, I'm curious to know what's next for it. Me too. Know, like, yeah. bro, there was a lot of dope shit going on. That's definitely. Yeah, I think that's cool. I think there's like five different things going on. A yeah. bunch of people yeah, going off doing their own thing. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that's interesting that, you know, to see that transition of that platform. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I've watched No Jumper for years and such and seeing yeah, how yeah, it's changed bro. and shit. And seeing it like this right here, you know, to not even like be a part of it or something like yeah. that. But to have like, you know been involved with it and to see that happening afterwards yeah. is kind of interesting it's very but close, yeah y'all see the thing the shit with uh with sharp and whack no, no y'all ain't shit. seen that shit with sharp and whack uh-uh. that's just hilarious they've been like screaming at each other for a while <laughs> they've been yelling at each other that's crazy that's for a crazy. hot minute they've been yeah what are they what are they like what but, are but they, like i guess sharp said that like they already fought and sharp said he knocked them out and then he said that whack got the footage but then like whack ain't the, but Wax kind of laughing, but I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't even. I ain't even trying to call nobody cap, but I just know, yeah, you know. That's interesting. I know that yeah. Sharp be kicking it with Blueface and shit a little bit, and I know how yeah. they be. Yeah. They be showing their messiness in certain ways and making it do stuff. So I don't even know, you know. I know Wax Blueface's manager. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if they yeah, orchestrating yeah, something yeah. or something like that. That'd be smart if that is what they doing. But like, I think I think that shit's hilarious. I don't know. It's good content. Yeah, they might. It might lead to like like one of those celebrities. Bro, I was trying to tell everybody to get on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, when I was doing the whole thing with Suspect, trying to call yeah. them out for that. Get the celebrity boxing going with everybody. <coughs> I think, you know, Slim and a few other motherfuckers wanted in on that. But, you know, nobody made it happen. Yeah. I wasn't really in a financial position at the time to make that shit happen. So. I still think it would have been. It I mean, as, as uh, you know, Adam is all about the clout, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. he definitely could have structured that in a way to make it make sense. I mean, in in a perfect world, it would already happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen just because wow. of all the all the moving pieces that have to be yeah. like going with it. I don't think they finna do that because a lot of people have a lot to lose from it. You know, that's the problem. Even though it wouldn't be too much to lose, like whatever, just you know, get in there. But yeah. you know, people to do that, you gotta train and shit. It's a lot of commitment and that stuff. Not everybody's gonna do that. It's yeah. a lot easier for them to go other routes. They can get that much done doing other shit, doing the shit they already doing. It's not yeah. everybody's finna do that, you That's know? True. That's true. You know? Yeah. Like, I was, me me and Sharp talked about uh, orchestrating some sort of fights between certain parties. I'm not gonna disclose yeah, yeah, necessarily. Yeah. I guess but we know. was talking about it, but I was like, gonna, there'd have to be a lot of money involved and yeah. shit like that. He was talking some numbers. I was like, nah, it'd have to be a bit bigger numbers oh, than that. I mean, and at then, the end of the day, it would be Yeah, versus shooting, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You really got an issue with a person sitting yeah. on the shoulders. It's that simple. Yeah. Otherwise, you ain't got an issue for them. But. Yeah, oh, and it's exactly. good entertainment. It's good content, you know what I'm saying? But you can get a lot of – you could probably get a lot off the build-up to it. You could probably get more off the build-up to the fight yeah. than the actual fight. I mean, if but you hey, think about it. money's money coming in, though. Money's money coming in. All money ain't good money. No, that's facts. But I feel like if it's money. from the same thing, you know, like building up to the fight, and then when the actual fight goes down, you know – you, you I'm just playing devil's advocate because I, no, 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 I, I fuck that, with though. it. I, I, I like, a, yeah. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I like rising to the challenge and then. Uh, I mean, I, I have an edge because I yeah. actually already. Yeah, yeah you've already been doing fought. that. Yeah, already. So I'm always, yeah. I'm like, shit. I mean, if somebody want to do that, you know what I'm saying? We can orchestrate something official. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially like in that realm, like we can get in the ring, like street fight and street fight, and you know anything yeah. go. But like in the ring, like that's boxing. That's no, that's yeah. my realm. Like we could we could do that. That's fun. Yeah, that's, that's what the, I was trying to do. It's like, really the real, funnest you know, thing in the world. Shit, fighting, fighting is so fun. Yeah, it's so it's fun. It's it's yeah, really it's so fun. It's, fun as fuck. it's funner than like it. anything else. Like going down a water slide, like riding a jet ski, yeah. fucking anything. I'm not jumping down the. I'm I get vertigo and shit. I don't. Yeah, I can't fuck yeah, with. I, know, I can't fuck with heights that. like that. I just can't. My hobby just did that, but I can't do it. I'll skydive one time though, oh, just cause. Fuck nah, it. I ain't I mean, doing that. Not at all. 
I'll do it one time. Those are the, that's just one of the things I won't do. I'm they half white. Do that shit, I'm half that white, but I ain't that white. I'm not doing that shit. I ain't doing that. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we fucked up, nigga. Both of my grandpas was in the Air Force. They did it enough for me. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm, I'm yeah, laying a lot. My dad was telling me that shit because he was in the Navy. He was telling me all about jumping out helicopters and shit. Hell no, I'm laying a lot. 40, 50 feet into the water and nah. shit all your gear on. Fuck that. Nah, nah, nah. But fighting is fun as hell. It's fun as hell. It's like the funnest game you could play. It's so interactive. It is pretty fucking fun. <laughs> it's, it's like GTA. It's like GTA in first person mode. Yeah, you're just like, uh, 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 yeah. It's, it's like it's like chess with with action. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and with activity. It's fun, but and then like afterward, you know what I'm saying? As long as it was somebody you're cool with and shit like that, if you can get money off that whole experience, yeah. doing it for free is already a lot of, lit. A lot of money my best of friendships that I've had started with fights. Yeah, real like shit. I fought people and then we end up like cool <laughs> and then like we we good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, I'm not even against it like that, you know? Like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. So, it's, yeah, especially if you can set it up in the ring and shit, yeah. make a production out of it, that's fun. Make it real, yeah. Exactly. We used to do that back in the day, just throwing yeah. the gloves with the homies. Like, exactly. we could just go do that shit and just get paid turn off the that camera shit. On type shit. It's just no different than the OnlyFans, you know? You're doing something regardless, just turn the camera on and get some better. Yeah, just turn the camera on, yeah. throw the gloves on, invite some people for some money. Yes, sir. Hey, what you know? You got yourself a show. Yeah, you know bro. what I'm saying? That's real shit, though. Yeah. Man, that, that, that definitely, uh, I can see that being like like a next big wave uh, on like as far as like YouTube, like like fighting, like a fighting community. Yeah. I'm just surprised somebody with a bigger voice, a bigger platform didn't already do it. They, they have, they have. Creative, on YouTube, though, like creative that? Creative Clash, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they do that shit. They got Amaranth about to be fighting. That's true, that's true. They be having okay, motherfuckers so from H3 and, like, uh, uh, who else? They have this one nigga dad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, Damn, they okay. have a whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's like YouTube world kind of shit like that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so, some people from, from this side... Should, should go fuck with it. I would fuck with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You just gotta hey, get yeah. stuff. There's people with less clout than either of us fighting in that shit. So, like... Hey, why don't we fuck with it, then? The bread, the, it's there. You know what I'm saying? Shit. What's, that? What's it called? Sure. Creative Clash. Creative Clash. There's about to be another one. All right, oh, I bet. So, this is like a... Like, they Tap do in this thing like, kind of like frequently. Yeah. Okay. Semi-frequently. I think they do like once a year. Uh, I think they've only oh. done like like one or two. Okay. But it's like different people, like all stacked up, same like yeah, yeah, people card and everything in like different that, right? parts of the YouTube world. Okay, for sure. And they just kind of, I think, and, and Austin McBroom did one too. I don't know if y'all know. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, 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 yeah. He did it with uh, like Bryce Hall and yeah. stuff oh, like that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. How long ago was Even that? Even paparazzi team Bryce on guard. Yeah. How long? Y'all don't know that. <laughs> Tana Mojo, yes. Yeah, it's, it's hey, I fucks okay, with her. I fucks with her. Tana, yeah. I fucks with Tana. She got yeah, her. yeah, she, 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 she wow. Yeah, she, she lit. She lit as a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, what, what were you asking? Oh, how long ago was that Was that shit all going on, or is it still currently like? It's about to happen in like a month or two, I think. Okay. I think maybe next month. Shit. I think it's next month, but uh, yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to get the pay-per-view for that. I want to hey, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, but they they do them every once in a while. It's just, it just has to be kind of in that realm. Yeah, I, mean, right. I, I feel like people from No Jumper and stuff like that could could go could go mess on, with it. Right? Yeah, it's not a bad look. Nah, hell no, nah. not at all. Definitely not. Yeah, it's, it's like a nice I said, I'm, I'm finna tap it. in with them. Shit, worth it. Tap Even if they don't hit me back, you know. Yeah, I ain't tap in and you know see what's up. Oh yeah. It might. Hey, actually, tap sure, in. Like I said, I'm back in the gym now, so. I'm I'm done with the kratom. I'm done with the vape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now he's, now he's blowing you know? heat. Yeah, so y'all smoking yeah. the boy over here blowing yeah. big blows with the we players. We just smoking weed every day, you know. Yeah, yeah we just we blowing no kratom, no vape. You know what I'm saying? No, none of that extra stuff. Like all you know, that extra shit. Yeah, if it ain't contributing to your health or your wealth, it yeah, it gotta yeah. go. 